We're gonna make a debt snowball spreadsheet from scratch, but the best part is the interest rates are gonna be really accurate. So you're gonna know exactly when you can get out of debt using the debt snowball spreadsheet. And the good news is you don't even have to be a guru with formulas and spreadsheets. I'm gonna take care of all that for you. I've got the formula set up, I've got the formatting, so all you need to do is follow along, make the debt snowball spreadsheet, and then enter in all of your debt information so you can find your debt-free date. We're gonna get started right here in column B. We're gonna type in our payment. Next, we're gonna follow in our interest, and then our debt one. And we're gonna actually repeat that. So I'm gonna do payment, interest, debt two. In this video, I'm going to do five different debts and walk through on how to set up Snowball with five debts. If you have more than five debts, that is fine. You can input more than five. If you got less than five, you can put in the ones that you have. I've got all those on there, and what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do two really quick formatting things. Number one, I don't like that if I scroll down, all my stuff at the top disappears, and in a minute, we're gonna put some dates on left. I don't like that when I scroll to the right, column A disappears. So we're gonna click View, we're gonna freeze, we're actually gonna freeze two rows, and we are going to freeze one column. And I'm actually going to make these, shrink these down a little bit so that they, they just look nicer, all right? All right, next up, we're going to go on the left, we're gonna do dates. And right now what I'm making this, it is July of 2024. I'm gonna do a formula here because I don't wanna type in August 2024 and September 2024. I wanna just make this easy. So I'm gonna cl click equals and type in e-date left parenthesis, I'm gonna click this cell, I'm gonna hit a comma, type one, that's gonna tell the formula to add one to this, and if I did it right, it should just go like this for a really long time. So I'm gonna drag that down for a little bit. So I've got that set up, so this is actually looking really nice already. And I'm going to do another thing, again, just a formatting thing. You don't need to do this, but I'm going to outline my cells so that it gives me a clear dividing line in between my debts. So I'm just gonna do this real quick, highlighting the ones that I want to outline. So each debt has its own outline. Click the borders, outer borders. Next up is we're gonna enter in our payment information. So the five debts that I've got here, I'm just gonna enter them in. We've got the payment, for this first one is gonna be $75. This one, luckily enough, has zero interest, which is kind of nice. Um, and these are just randomized made up debts that I have. Um, I've got a lot of clients that I make customized debt snowball spreadsheets for. And you actually grab the link for that service down in the description. And I, so I've just taken some numbers from different debt snowball spreadsheets that I've made for folks as a paid service. Um, and it's kind of nice having it set up and formatted like this. We will actually format all of this and click in this left-hand side as currency. Whoopsie, not all of this is currency because that messed up my formatting. Um, we're gonna do all of this as currency. There we go. And we're gonna do center all of that just to make it look a little neater. Okay, and actually, goodness gracious. Um, I forgot that these are gonna be percentages. So I've got a couple of these goofed up here, um, but those are really quick fixes. Um, all right, we're back on track. Okay, it looks like all my numbers are looking pretty good. Now it's time to enter in some formulas. All right, the formula is going to go in the box or the cell um, here, D3, G3, J3, M3, and P3. And I can just enter it one time and then I can copy and paste it. So our formula is going to be equals. We're going to take the total debt we're gonna subtract the amount we're paying on it. Now we're going to add back in the interest. And to do that, we've gotta do a couple parentheses here. And we're gonna do our, once again, our total debt times, so we're gonna do like this little star symbol, our interest rate. And that is going to be divided by 12 to get an average monthly interest rate. So hopefully I did that right, I did. And now we're going to take that, and I'm just gonna hit Control C, Control V, and copy that into these other cells. What we need to do next is we've gotta take our payments and our interest and just drag those down so that everything is on an evil, even level line. Okay. 
All right, at this point, we are ready to see when each of these debts is gonna be paid off. And then once we've done that, we're gonna see how much faster we can pay them off with adding in the debt snowball element instead of just making minimum payments. So to do this, I'm gonna take these, I'm gonna highlight all of these. And I'm gonna take this little blue box and I'm going to drag these down. And what this is gonna do is going to drag down the formulas. It's gonna drag down the debts so that I can start seeing when these things are getting paid off. And I can see here that this gets paid off. I'm gonna make that green just for a visual. This gets paid off in August of 2026, our first debt. The rest of them still have work to go. So I'm just gonna keep dragging down. And actually this one here is gonna get paid off. So we're gonna make this one green as well. This is actually debt four, it looks like. And you can see now why I wanted to freeze that top row because it really helps just keep things in perspective so I can see what debts I'm looking at. Um, it just organizes it really nicely. All right, I'm gonna do the same thing for these next two. These actually get paid off pretty close to the same time. And then we've just got one left, this big, massive one, which is going to take a little bit. All right, this last one, debt five, is such a big debt that actually we need to go over here and drag some more dates down because it is past June of 2029. So this one is looking like it's getting paid off all these debts with minimum payments in June of 2023, which is about nine years from when I'm making this video. Going back to some of the initial components of this, this is a debt snowball spreadsheet. So the idea behind that is that we are setting this up, smallest debt, to largest debt, regardless of interest rates. And then the next step is once we pay off a debt, we're taking the amount we were paying on the paid off debt and applying it to the next debt. And so we can actually see that in action right now and to see how much faster we're gonna get out of debt compared to June of 2033. So this first debt, debt one is August of 2026. It is paid off. So now we're gonna take that $75 and we're gonna apply it over to debt number two. And I'm gonna use a calculator because I don't wanna mess up. This one is gonna be $222. Now, instead of 147, and you can see here, I'm just gonna undo that. You can see these numbers, watch these. As soon as I change this to 222, the numbers below automatically update because we've got that formula in there working for us. So I'm just gonna take this and drag this down until this is zero again. So now this one is gonna be paid off in March of 2028 rather than April of 2029. So we've cut a year off of our debt repayment and now we're gonna add that here, that's gonna be like 456. And again, it automatically is gonna update for me. All right. Ah. All right, now we're paid off here for next debt. And these two actually get paid off at the same time, so I'm gonna just gonna delete those. This one just got paid off by itself, making the minimum payments. And now we've got a situation where we've got 456 plus 265. We're gonna add both of those to this 314. So this is now 1,035. And now we can just drag this down like we've been doing with our other ones and it's gonna get paid off in probably about 10 or 11 months. Right here, we're gonna be paid off right here, November of 2029. So going for minimum payments, June of 2020, 2033. And so now we're looking at being debt free in November of 2029. This didn't apply any extra additional money from the budget to pay off this debt faster. It was just taking the amount that is already being accounted for for paying off debt and applied it in a more efficient and effective way. And then that's a thousand dollars every single month that's going back in this person's budget. And now that you have the tools and the ability to set up a debt snowball spreadsheet, you're gonna to wanna to check out this next video to find out whether the debt snowball spreadsheet or the debt avalanche spreadsheet is gonna get you out of debt faster.